I'm Michael Cavanaugh. I'm a, a principal with the firm of Geosyntec Consultants in Oakland, California. Uh, I am a PhD uh, civil environmental engineer from UC Berkeley and I've been working on groundwater issues for more than 30 years. Uh, I'm also a member of the National Academy of Engineering. I recently had the privilege of chairing a committee addressing this groundwater cleanup issues and we've just produced a report called Alternatives for Managing the Nation's Complex Contaminated Groundwater Sites. The central theme of our report is that there are uh, many sites out there that unfortunately will not be cleaned up in any near term time frame. That's, that's in less than 100 years. And as a result, the society has to now deal with the fact that there will be many sites out there where contamination will persist. Um, the goal then is to make sure that sites are protective, that human health is protected, that the environment is protected, but that resources, uh, particularly in today's economically constrained world, that we spend those resources effectively and cost effectively while maintaining a low risk um, uh, environment in regards to contaminated groundwater. Uh, we uh, met for a number of times. There's uh, key issues that we addressed. How big a problem is this? We think there's over 126,000 sites where contamination has not yet been cleaned up. There may be more than that in the future. Uh, we think that there's at least 10,000 to 12,000 sites where uh, cleanup to uh, background levels or to drinking water standards is not likely within 100 years. We don't feel that there are technologies that are going to be able to accelerate that pr cleanup process. And as a consequence of that issue and that fact, and there doesn't appear to be a breakthrough technology on the horizon, that there will be these many sites that will require long-term management. And there's three end states that we see going forward. One end state is where, in fact, you clean up a site and it allows for unlimited use and unrestricted exposure, which is what's the, uh, which is included in the statute. That's the, the overall societal goal. Another end state is a long-term management, active management, like hap what happens at many Department of Energy sites that are highly complex and quite costly. And the third option would be some sort of passive management that would still be protective, but which would allow for um, use of the site, uh, but leave some residual behind. And we think that uh, this fact and the consequences of this finding needs to be used in informing future strategies regarding groundwater cleanup in the United States, such that resources are spent effectively, decisions are made more quickly, and at the uh, end of the day, uh, problems are resolved, but in a more cost-effective way.